Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be replacing the optical drive in a mid-2010 17-inch MacBook Pro. We have already powered down our MacBook Pro, placed it on a soft, static-free workspace, and are ready to begin. To begin, close the MacBook Pro and turn it upside down. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws we need to remove from the bottom of the MacBook Pro. We will begin by removing these three screws as they are different lengths than all the other screws. Now, gently pull the bottom of the case, starting at the top rear, until all the snaps release. The optical drive is located here. Remove this ribbon cable using your nylon pry tool by gently pulling up until it releases. Then pull up on the data connector here. Next, we will be moving this module. We will remove these two Phillips screws to loosen the module so that we can reach the hidden Phillips screw underneath. Pull the module back a little to reveal and remove this Phillips screw. Next, remove this Phillips screw. Next to the fan is a partially hidden Phillips screw we need to remove. Gently move the wire out of the way and remove this screw. Now, use your nylon pry tool to lift one end of the optical drive and pull it free, being careful of this wire. We will reuse the hardware from our old optical drive on the new optical drive. Gently pull out the data connector and set it to the side. We will remove this bracket which is held in place by two Phillips screws. Remove these two Phillips screws and set the bracket aside. With the new drive, we need to install both the bracket and data connector. Set the bracket in place and secure it to the new optical drive using the two Phillips screws you removed from the old optical drive. Now plug in the data connector. Slide the new optical drive into the MacBook Pro, making sure that the cables are not trapped underneath the optical drive or bracket, and the optical drive lays flat. Now replace this Phillips screw. Replace the hidden Phillips screw under the module by gently sliding the module to the side. Replace the Phillips screw next to the fan making sure that the wire is not trapped underneath the bracket. Now make sure that the module is laying flat and replace the two Phillips screws to secure it into the MacBook Pro. Plug in both this ribbon cable and the data connector. Now set the bottom of the MacBook Pro in place, pushing in here and here until the bottom snaps in. Replace the 10 Phillips screws, starting with the three longer ones here.
You can now turn your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.